well, it's the Onion Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Ninjago set review for you guys. And this time, I'm reviewing one of the new 2023 core sets for the lineup. And that is Kai's Ninja Race Car Evo. This is at 71780 ADG 6 Plus. It has 94 pieces in one minifigure. And once again, I got this set at the LEGO store at Discover Meals for the lineup. And this set costs 10 US dollars here in North America and around the world for the lineup. So without further ado, let's take a look at that mini so here is Kai in the set. Now, this is still not the new version for this year. This is the exact same version that we've gotten from 2022, which is from last year, from the last January wave of sets for Ninjago. So, yeah, this is still the same one from the last year's core wave, the first core wave for the lineup itself right here. And he does come with a gold katana sword right there as an accessory right here. So we're gonna take that off side and I'll show you what the minifigure looks like. So here he is without it. Now, once again, we do get the exact same legs, hip, and torso printing right here from last year. Nothing too new. This is still 100% the same. I like that flaming detailing that's coming out on the left side of his body right there for the ninja robes right there. And same thing, we have a little bit for the top part of his right leg and some for his left leg right there for the bottom part. And like, this is like some logo for his left leg on the top of it for the part of his ninja robes right there. So that is nice. I like the yellow left arm and the right red arm right there. So you can see and that mask is 100% the same right there. So nothing too new at all. And the back torso printing is 100% the same. And this is what the rest of that yellow strap looks like. And also we do get the exact same face print. So this is his smiley expression. And when you flip his face around, this is the same serious face right there that we've gotten from the Ninjago movie sets from 2017 right here. So still the same one. So that is it for the minifigure. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build. So here's the Ninja Race Car Evo. And I gotta say, this is a pretty decent build to me, in my opinion. Well, some people may or may not be a fan of this build because how probably like the way this thing turns out. Well, it is a cheap $10 set. Well, it is how the way it is right here. So I think it's pretty nice and cool looking to me, in my opinion. So there, this is the whole front part of the vehicle. So we do get a couple of stickers in this set, like this bumper piece right there that has that logo, the Ninja logo right there. So you can see we have some flames coming out right there and we have those black lines in a different angle we have those silver i mean like gray pieces right they're representing the engines right there and also we are going to take a look at both forms right here because once again this is another evo set so we're going to take a look at this version right here and then later on we're going to take some pieces off and take a look at the first form itself but yeah i like the gold piece right there so you can see that it's like representing the engine right there so that is so freaking sweet in my opinion so here's what the side of the race car looks like so we have these big black wheels right there so you can see and yes we have another sticker right here so you can see and a gold katana sword right there attached to that so i like how that turns out right here here's the other side with the exact same thing once again right here and this is what the back of the car looks like. So we have these gold pieces representing like that bumper piece right there. So that is so nice looking as you can see, which is really nice looking. And also we can lift this glass piece up. And this is what the inside of the driver's seat looks like. So we have a steering wheel and only one spot to fit your minifigure inside of there. And a shame there's no storage to spare Kai's weapon inside of this car right here. And also, you can put him up. So once again, you got to lift his, yeah, you got to lift both of his arms and legs up. Slide him like this. Well, you can attach him with or without his mask if you wanted to. So let me try to be careful not to knock this thing out. Or if you want to, you can lay him down like this if you wanted to. And there you go. So that is how you do that. Well, you can not let him drive up like, you can't send him up while he's driving or you can lay him down like this if you wanted to when you already had the set and it does roll just like so too and again this is an evo set so we're gonna take some parts off so we're gonna take this bumper piece off so easy to detach that since it is attached to that plus piece right there and it has that little 
sticking area right there. And also, you can't take the katana swords off, so we're going to take those off. And also, you can't switch the tires out right here. So, you can switch them up like this. And we look at the bottom, you can see what the difference is right here. So, you can see it's same thing for tire number two, tire number three. Well, that keeps, well, kind of like happening like that. Well, still not a fan of it. So, let me put that piece back on. So, all right, there we go. So let's try that again. So let me, okay, there we go. So let me try that again. So, all right, there we go. And one last wheel. Okay, same thing right here. So let me put this piece back on my apologies for that. Let me do it like this right here. Come on. All right, there we go. So this is what the car looks like in its first form right here so yeah this is the first form of the race car itself well you take off all that gear right here so it is pretty cool okay well we do get the same exact parts well the only difference is you had to remove that bumper switch the tires and remove those two katanas right here so that is pretty nice looking right there so you can see and this is what the side of the car looks like when you remove the katana right there and switch the tires out here's the other side with the exact same thing once again and this is what the back of the car looks like when you take off that bumper piece right there and yeah sometimes when you position it like this the wheels get a little loose right there well i think it's just how the way it is right here but at least that is a pretty cool looking feature right there so yeah you can't switch the car up into its first form which is this form right here or the second form which the how you could do it right here so yeah i still like the second form right here but this one is so good well i still like the second form right here but it is what it is right here but at least that is a pretty cool looking gimmick since once again this is another evo set right here for the lineup so nothing much to say about this build but that's all i've gotten so far for the set itself for the lineup so that is it for the build of this set now let's move on so to the overall, final i think this is a nice looking set for ten dollars right here so this is pretty cool okay so i like the race car itself this is the only build of this set well yeah because this is a cheap ten dollar set right here you do get one build and one minifigure and also there aren't any villains in this set it's just the main hero himself right here it's just one of the ninja which is Kai, one of my favorite Ninjago ninjas for my childhood show right here. So, and again, this is another core lineup because this is still not based off one of the brand new seasons right here. So, the same thing from last year before the crystallized season and all of that. But anyways, this is pretty cool. Key. And also Kai, once again, that is the exact same version that we've gotten from last year for the previous January way for the Ninjago set lineup. So we do get that same face printing from the Ninjago movie from 2017. The front and back torso printing, the hips and leg printing, and even the face masks are 100% the same right here. And I like the race car build. Well, again, some people may or may not be a fan of it because like how the way it turns out. Well, it is pretty cool and decent to me in my opinion. And also again, like I said, this is another Evo set. So we have only two forms, which is this form and the second form that I show you guys from earlier. So you can't switch out those tires, take the bumper piece off and take off those two gold katanas right here. And also, if you guys wanted to make it to the second form, all you have to do is just attach that bumper piece, switch the tires out and attach those two katanas. So that is like a piece of cake to me in my opinion. So yeah, it did happen since I was building this set like a couple of days ago from the instructions right here. So I still like those Evo sets right here since I like how you can't switch the builds from to the first and second form or the first and third form in my opinion. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so and again, Kai is still one of my favorite characters from the series itself. He is one of my most favorite ninja right here. So Anyways, this is a pretty cool looking car right there. If Kai's your favorite ninja, I feel like this is a perfect set to buy in a cheaper price right here. So that is so freaking 
awesome to me in my opinion for the lineup so nothing much to say but that is all i've gotten so far for the lineup so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that notification bell the save button and don't forget to hulk smash that comment section down below and tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup i'll see you later I'll